itself with its own disk. Basically, like most product lines, you have you start with a, with, a, with a low end and scale upwards to a high end, and that's really what differentiates uh, each of these hardware models. As you scale up in the product line, you get greater performance, greater scalability uh, out of the hardware that's included. N3000 is basically the entry level product line, so for, for users who have uh, uh, lower capacity needs, this is what you generally take a look at. Uh, you have really the N3700 is, 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 is on its way out. Really, 3300 and 3600 models are the current entry level. In your mid range, you currently have the 5000 and 6000 models with the 5000 again uh, on their way out and shortly to be replaced by the newer N6000. And then on the high end, you have your N7000 models that scale to maximum. Uh, scalability and performance of the product line. Like most, uh, like most storage appliances, it basically follows a traditional architecture of a controller with disk backends behind it. Uh, shares pretty much the same expansion, disk expansion doors across, uh, across all the controllers. EX7000 supporting your zero ATA drives for your higher capacity, lower performance storage needs, uh, up to 14 SATA drives and pretty much all the common sizes that are currently available, up to one terabyte. EXN 4000 supporting fiber channel drives up to 14 for your higher performance uh, storage needs, both uh, 2 gigabit and 4 gigabit, up to 450 gig, 15k RPM drives today. Looking at some of the more specific models, you start with the N3000, which is your entry level, and really two current models, the 3300 and 3600. Both offer single or dual controller options. Both support the same <coughs> multi-protocol unified support for IP SAN, fiber channel SAN, and network attached storage. They have dual integrated Ethernet ports and dual fiber channel ports built in. You can extend that depending on your model controller. <coughs> and 3300 coming in a 2U form factor, and 3600 coming in a 4U form factor. Each of these entry level models can hold some internal disk in that controller, which is very common. Uh, up to 12 internal disks in the N3300, up to 20 internal disks in the N3600. And there you see basically. Uh, scalability on the entry level 3300 up to 40 disk drives and up to 104 disk drives on the N3600. Then you see the back of the system and basically it's a single chassis for each of these entry level models and then there are basically controllers that slide into that chassis up to two controllers uh, per chassis. They can be configured in a cluster failover environment so each, any loss of a single controller, the other one will take over the workload. You get another comparison of the speeds and feeds of the, of the entry level N3000s. So max disk drives on the 3300 versus 3600. Uh, with today's disk capacity is getting you uh, roughly 68 terabytes versus 104 terabytes of total capacity. Uh, Basically, uh, two gigs of cache versus four on the 33 versus the 36. A little bit more I/O expandability on the 36. Moving up from the entry level, you get into the N6000, which is uh, again replacing the older N5000. So I'm not really going to speak to those. N6000 is really the middle, the mid range of the product line. So you get. Improved performance versus the low end, uh, greater scalability, uh, up to 180, 840 drives, 840 terabytes of capacity for using the one terabyte drives, uh, more memory, more I/O expandability uh, on the N6000 versus the entry level. Three models of the mid-range N6000, N6070, 6060, and 6040. Uh, pretty much tops out with the N6070, scaling all the way up to 840 drives. 
672 drives on the N6060 and 420 drives on the N6040. Memory pretty much scales up, as you can see, fairly linearly as you go up to higher performance, uh, higher performing models, higher end models, uh, as well as uh, pretty much the same number of fiber channel ports, maximum fiber channel ports available across the product line and Ethernet ports for your host uh, connectivity. These new models are 8 gig fiber, ch uh, fiber channel ready. We don't see a lot of that deployed yet, but once that becomes more widespread, these, new, these uh, N6000 models will be support that. There you can see, contrasting a little bit uh, on your left, you have uh, more what the older N5000 chassis looked like. It was basically two discrete chassis, each one with a controller. On the new N6000 chassis, you basically have a single chassis, and again, that pluggable form factor for the controllers. Uh, 16 chassis supporting twin controllers for the newer N6000 uh, chassis. This reduces a lot of your external cabling on the back plane and then makes it a lot, uh, a lot more space to 